The 2009 Solar Decathlon, an educational project of the U.S. Department of Energy, is only a few days away. And while the University of Arizona's entry has already left, we stopped by with the team a few days before they headed out to Washington, D.C. The purpose of the competition is to integrate uh, solar technology into buildings, and mostly on a residential scale. So 20 teams from all across the world build a house, and over the course of two years, we go through it, design systems, design you know, the whole building, the spaces and whatnot, and then we break it down and ship it to D.C., and then we will be competing for three weeks on the National Mall. So our, our, our entry here, um, we're kind of going through the, the final systems, working through the plumbing, the electrical, um, kind of going back into some of the things that weren't quite done right, making, making those things better and adding all the new things in. This is really the heart of the building in, in that it holds all of the mechanical components that you need to run any number of these modules. Our marketing campaign is kind of designed around the idea that you could buy one of these, maybe the mechanical unit, um, have it delivered to a site, um, add some decks, and then as time goes on, if you get a better job, you can begin, or your family starts to grow, you can begin to add um, more decks, more modules. So you begin kind of with this core space, and that provides you with enough solar electricity to get started and a living space. And while building most homes from scratch is fairly straightforward, the nature of this project gave the construction some new challenges. Really working with the modular design overall is really problematic. Usually when you put together a building, you, you plumb it, you wire it, and you're done. You walk away at the end of the day. We have to design this thing so it can be taken apart and put together not only once, but multiple times. And we have to keep in mind our time frame when we get on site in DC. We've got six, six and a half days to completely get this thing back together, make sure that all the systems are, are A-OK. -okay. Um, beyond that, you know, um, things like finishes, you have to accommodate for being able to take something apart and put it back together. So we've really taken a lot of our cues for the windows from the automotive industry, um, thinking about operability, ceiling, and kind of some of the automation things. So I'll show you. It's, it's really just been a learning curve for everybody in the project, you know. Um, really studying, hitting the books about solar electricity. How do you wire it? How do you set up all, the, all this new technology that's out there? Um, so working through all kinds of systems, it's, it's really great for the architecture students involved, and you know, it's, it's going to make them better architects in the end. 